Chennai is hosting Squash World Cup. And I'm here to speak with World Squash Federation President Zena Woodridge. Well, we've reintroduced the World Cup and it was previously two men and one woman. And what we brought is gender parity. So we now have two men and two women. And at the same time, we've taken the opportunity to experiment with the scoring. So rather than playing best of five to not to 11 points, we're playing, playing best of five to just seven points. So it's much quicker. It's much quicker. It's more attacking. Um, and it, it means that the matches are, are just shorter there. Rather than being four or five hours, they may be just two and a half hours. Well, this is just a great venue. I think that Chennai is the centre of squash in India. Um, they've hosted many events here, but this is just a spectacular setting. We have the glass court, and we can locate the glass court in lots of places. We can build it in lots of places, but to build it in a shopping mall like this is fantastic because we're taking squash to the people rather than asking the spectators and the fans to come to a squash venue. And, and so we can expose the sport and um, we can expose the sport to very many more people. Well, I've been to India many times. I've been to, I think this is about the fifth time I've been to Chennai. Um, and they're very supportive of squash. And so, you know, we, we, we get the support of the Federation and the government. And that's really, really important when you're putting on an event like this to ensure, you know, that the players can be here. And while they're here, they get the best environment in order to perform well. Well, we've got a lot of coverage for this event on, um, for, on, on TV in, in India and in terms of global coverage through World Squash TV and the Olympic Channel and lots of social media too and lots of people watching on all three on all three levels of, um, of the precinct so we hope that it will generate interest and people will want to ask questions and come and try squash so that that's one of the big advantages of of this venue and all of the media and the social media that's been put around it it's really important so there's some some legacy from the event um, and then it can be followed up by another event in the next two years well, I think the, the financial model for, for events is very different. It depends on which country you, get, you are in, in terms of um, ha how it's funded. But, you know, other nations that, the other nation that's, that's really probably quite supportive is Egypt, you know, big squash nation. But otherwise, many of the other events are dependent upon um, sponsorship and private sponsorship. So, you know, here, to get to have the, the support of the government of Tamil Nadu, is really instrumental in the ability to put an event on of this scale and um, and this kind of quality of presentation so you know we're very very appreciative to the to the government of Tamil Nadu for the support that they've given well I think firstly the ability to be able to organize an event such as this in 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 such a, an efficient way we always when we come to India when we come to Chennai we always know that we can rely upon the quality of the organization from the Squash Rackets Federation of India, um, but also the hospitality that we receive. I think the quality of the hospitality that we receive here in India and here in Chennai is just exceptional. And now the players, I hope, will go, will, will go home and they will, and, and when they're playing on the circuit, they will tell the other nations and the other players what a fantastic event it's been, what a fantastic experience they've had in Chennai, and, and all of the other teams and the other players will want to play in future events so that we can have 16 of the best uh, teams in the world at the next World Cup um, and we can expand it. What uh, in future any program or any event with uh, related to squash you're planning here? Um, well I think we'd, we'd, we'd like to bring events back to Chennai um, you know we haven't got any firm plans yet but um, it may be that the World Cup will come back to Chennai we still have to uh, to confirm that um, so and I think it's really important that the the Squash Federation, um, the Squash Rackets Federation of India have some legacy out of this so that they can grow the sport, they can grow the sport from, from bottom up, get more people um, into the sport um, and then pull them up through the, through the performance pathway. And that's what, that's what big nations, big squash nations such as um, Egypt do. They've got a very, very big um, base to the pyramid that they're bringing young people in. And today you'll have seen, while you were watching, there were lots of young people sitting watching and we hope that this kind of event will inspire them to want to come and play squash and come and try it. So this is Zena, who is saying that a lot more number of events should happen and there should be a lot more participation.
participation from the country, youngster mostly, and there should be in infrastructure facility should be there so that we can conduct more such events. With camera person Shankar, Ritesh Ranjan, DD News, Chennai.